Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at how to apply conditional formatting that blinks. I'll look at the scenario first of all. If I change any of these figures, so I'll change this to 80,000, then you'll see it applies this conditional formatting. So the conditional formatting is, has the sales value met the sales target? Similarly, if I change this to 90,000, then it only highlights and blinks the two sales values that meet that criteria. If I change a sale outside the interested range, so either the sales value or here, then nothing occurs, no blinking occurs or anything like that. There's nothing significant has changed. Okay, so I've already written the code for you, but I'm gonna walk you through it. Because the code needs to be activated automatically rather than by pressing a button or using a shortcut key. I've put the sub procedure within a sheet object rather than within a module. And the code is gonna run on the change event. So if you've not done this before, just store your sub procedure within the sheet that you want to apply this conditional formatting to. Then up here, you need to change this to worksheet and the event to change. That will give you this line of code and you can put all your code between that and in sub. So let's just walk through the code that I've got here. I'm declaring some variables here. Sales value, individual sales values within this column. Sales field is column B. Sales target is E1. Sales to blink is gonna collect, this variable is gonna collect all the sales that are eligible for the conditional formatting and the blinking. Now, I'll close down the Project Explorer so we can see the code a little bit more clearly. Let's look at this line of code. If not intersect, so intercept, it returns a range, which is the intersection of two other ranges. The first range that we're using here is target. Now, target is the active cell. You see up here, we get target here when we use the change event. Target is the active cell. So that's why, for example, when I change that cell, this sub procedure didn't actually run. So there has to be an overlap between the target and either the sales field or the sales target for this sub procedure to actually run. So that's my first line of code. Right, assuming that this is the case, I then need to reset all cell background colors in column B to white because if I've previously run this sub procedure, then some of them will already be yellow. For each sales value in sales field, I think that's fairly obvious, going down this column, if the sales value is greater than or equal to the sales target. If sales to blink is nothing, that's this variable up here. Now on the first iteration of this loop, it will equal nothing because it hasn't been set to anything. What I want to do is set sales to blink to the sales value. So the first sales value, or the first range that will be assigned to sales to blink will be 94,853 or B3. If sales to blink isn't empty, if it's not equal to nothing, then what I need to do is I need to add the current range to the next range that is eligible to be part of sales to blink. So for example, on the first iteration uh, that meets the condition, this cell will be stored in sales to blink. On the second iteration, I need to store both of these cells in the variable sales to blink. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm using union here to essentially say that sales to blink is the sales value that's met the condition up here plus what's already in sales to blink and on each iteration of this loop it will add more and more eligible sales if there are eligible sales okay so that's this loop here that's what that does essentially add sales to the sales to blink variable once i've got all eligible sales in the sales to blink variable 
I need to change the sales background color to yellow, then white with a one second interval. So I'm using a for next loop here for i equals one to two. i has been declared up here as a byte. So essentially I'm going to loop this code twice. And all this does is change the background color of the cell to yellow, wait for a second, change the background color to white, wait for a second, and then obviously, as I said before, we repeat the loop. Once the two loops have been completed, I then want to permanently change the background color of the cells to yellow. Okay, so that is the sub procedure. Hopefully that's a good enough explanation for you. What I'll do is I'll put this code on my website. I'll give you a link to it in the description and I'll also upload this file so you can use it in context. But for now, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Please subscribe if you find this sort of thing useful. But for now, goodbye and I'll see you next video.